and welcome to the Global Basketball Summer League Session B. I'm Nick Mattis, along with my partner, Matt Fowler. We just concluded the three days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday of Session A. The Finnish Select team ended up winning the tournament, and they're gonna play the first game of the tournament here on day number one in Las Vegas, Nevada. We're coming to you from the Doolittle Community Center. Matt Fowler's gonna be my partner in today, and we like to affectionately call ourselves the Sonoma County Connection. Matt and I reside there in Northern California, and we're gonna be bringing you the ball game today. Today's game's gonna feature two of the finest European coaches we have around here. So uh, the Finnish select team is gonna be coached by Miko Larkas. He's one of the top coaches in the Finnish Professional League. This will be his fifth season as the head coach of the Helsinki Seagulls. The French Pro-Am team will be coached by Manu Schmidt. He's the head coach of Jortulen. He also played professional basketball for 18 years in France. So we've got a really great setup here today, Matt. Game number two is gonna be World Vision Sport versus the Greek Connect. That'll begin approximately at 12 p.m. Point Streak versus Windsor Express. That will start approximately 2 p.m. All right, we're gonna have our national anthem. Absolutely, get paid to do something you love, and a lot of these guys, there's a misconception that, you know, if you go overseas and you're not playing in the NBA, you don't make money. Well, that's not true. You make a lot of money. You might not make, you know, 20 million a year, but you would still make three or four million probably, so. All right, there's the tip. French Pro-Am will be in the right, going from your left to your right. The Finnish Select team will be in the dark jerseys, going right to left. Going to be a side out here for the French Pro-Am. 9.52 here, started the first day of the Session B here in Las Vegas, Nevada, the Global Basketball Summer League. I'm Nick Mattis along with Matt Fowler, the Sonoma County Connection here. Sideline reporters here, we got two of them here, two beautiful ladies will be getting updates for us on some timeouts and during the breaks. And we're getting some things worked out here at the scorer's table. We have four games on tap for you today. So come on down to the Doolittle Community Center here in, in Las Vegas, Nevada. We also got the uh, NBA Summer League going on here in Las Vegas at the same time, Matt. So there's a lot of basketball being played here for the next few days. We do. I will go from the Global Basketball Summer League to the NBA Summer League. Tonight I'll be watching our Golden State Warriors play. All right, plays back in here. The French Pro-Am moving the ball nicely. Try to work it inside there. Jump shot by Trey Hunter off the iron. Here come the finish select. Here come the finish select down the court. Going to reset the shot clock. 224 seconds, there you go. We're just working some things out here at the scorer's table. First game of the day here, session B. Again, I'm Nick Mattis from Northern California with Matt Fowler here from Sonoma County and Matt and I just met each other. It's a small world. We showed up here to work the Global Basketball Summer League and once you know he's from 20 minutes down the road from where I live and just a small world and just goes to show you things happen that you just don't understand. So it was great. Yesterday I got to work the championship game of session A. That was between the Finnish select team and the local team here, the Nevada Desert Storm. It was a well-played game. Finnish Select ended up defeating the Nevada Desert Storm 112 to 104 in that game. Well-played game, it was the highest scoring game we had in the tournament yesterday. Most of the games have been averaging anywhere between 80 and 90 points, but yesterday two teams broke the century mark. So uh, I look for the teams here probably today to start out a little slower in the scoring and going to probably be a little more of a defensive battle but again Matt I believe the keys to this game will be strong with the basketball you do not want to have a lot of turnovers each and every time down the court you want to try to work something out where you get some good passes find the open player 
and try to get shot attempts up every time down the court. And most of the players here average anywhere from six foot four to six foot ten. We do have one seven footer in the contest here, and he will be in the game today. His name is Connor Voss. He's seven foot one. He plays for the Finnish Select team. He's a professional overseas. He plays for the Columbia Lions. Seven foot one, 255 pounds. He is the only seven footer that we have in the tournament right now. And um, most of the players do, like I mentioned, average about six four to to six ten. That, that would say I would say there was most of the players are around that size. So when you see some players under six foot, which we had some in the tournament in session A, and these are the mostly obviously the fastest players on the court and. It's just fun to watch the little guys compete against these big, tall, athletic players here that we see. And I gotta tell you, these players are special players. This is a combine here to show your, showcase your professional skills. And these players all have ambitions of being professional players. All right, we got things worked out. We're back in action here. There's a turnover. That'll be the recipe for a dismal game if they keep doing that. First turnover there for the First turnover for the Greek select team, the, uh, excuse me, the Finnish select team. I apologize here for all of the, I apologize for the the start of the game here. It's a little bit rough, but uh, we're gonna get things worked out and, and please stick around with us and bear with us here. Nick Mattis and Mount, Matt Fowler here, the Sonoma County Connection. We're gonna keep our cool and calm and enjoy this first game once we get it all worked out. The teams have switched benches, which is nice for us, Matt. Here, we got that squared away. Make a note here on my scorebook here. We got the French Pro-Am to our left. And the Finnish Select team will be to our right. And there's a lot of issues going on right now with the scoreboard and the shot clock, but well, we gotta, it's, we're, we're working out the kinks, Matt Fowler. We're working out the kinks here, first game of the day. Uh, we've got a great crew here. Sydney Cariel is over there, ready to make her first report at some point today. Maybe we could, uh, maybe we could get a report here from Sydney Cariel if she's ready. All right, let's see if we can get a report from Sydney Cariel. And in the meantime, I'm going to uh, give you an update on the games here. The second game of the day will be World Vision Sport. The third game will be Greek Connect. Uh, World Vision Sport will play Greek Connect at 12 p.m. 2 p.m. will be Point Street versus Windsor Express. And 4 p.m., the Washington Warhawks will take on the Canada Stars. All right, let's take it over to our Sydney Cariel. Sydney, what do you got? Thanks guys. Coach Manu Schmidt from French Pro-Am told me earlier today that they only had six players yesterday at practice, which made it very difficult to come up with plays and really get a rhythm going. Today they have nine players on the court, so it'll help them have more subs and get fresh legs out there. He said the three keys to be successful in this game is play simple, stay hustled the whole time, keep going on your feet, and really just be efficient on both sides of the ball. Back to you guys. Thank you very much, Sydney. We maybe might have to switch our uh, from the Sonoma County connection to the California connection because Sydney resides in Hayward. She went to Arizona State there, and we also have Atonier will be on the sidelines with us today too. And uh, we got a great crew here, the uh, media group that's come here to work and showcase their skills. I think everybody's going to be impressed with our work ethic, and uh, it's just been a lot of fun, Matt. I've just been enjoying it. We have uh, 12 games under our belt so far. 12 games under our belt and uh, 12 more to go and we're looking forward to it. Yeah, once we get the kinks ironed out here, we'll get this thing rolling along smoothly here. Our officiating crew's been very patient. And uh, we're coming to you from the Doolittle Community Center here in Las Vegas, Nevada. A Little bit hot here for me, Matt. The days have been up and around anywhere from 107 to 115 we've averaged so far. The, Heat, but there's good air conditioning. I want everybody to know we're not we're not getting too hot in here. The air conditioning is is superb, and that's great for the athletes. But obviously, we're from Sonoma County, and uh, we're not quite used to these hundred hundred digits, right? A little bit hot, Maddie. Just a little bit, but we're here in the air conditioned building that is the Doolittle Community Center, so we're all good. 
as we wait for as we wait for get the, the we're getting all the bugs out of this system here in the, the scoreboard yeah it's a little bit tedious and that's why we're going to go over to nine minutes 17 seconds left here in the first period of game one global basketball summer league session two in the white going from the left to the right is the french pro-am in the dark jerseys going right to left is the finish select there's a jump shot on the outside three-point three shot buried by kevin uh, excuse me by jonte dodson we have two number fives today in the game here for the French Pro-Am team. Uh, Dante John, John Day Dotson will be number five in the white shoes, Matt Fowler. We also have Kevin Josie, he's number five. So we're trying to make sure we distinguish between that, Matt. We're gonna have to be really, uh, really acute to their shoes there. We have the same thing going on here with the Finnish Select team. They have two number fours, so keep your eyes on it. There's number four right there as we speak, driving to the hoop, shots blocked. That was Michael Orris on the drive. He got fouled, he's gonna to go to the free throw line for two shots. So we got, Matt, this is gonna be a real challenging game for us here with two teams having two players with the same numbers. You're gonna to have to watch those shoes, Matt Fowler. Again. Absolutely, and we wanna just point this out. The, there was an issue with the shot clock, and so we're playing with a 22 second shot clock. The referees have decided uh, in the interest of time that they will just make do with uh, that difficulty. So the shot clock will be set at 22 seconds instead of 24. Michael Orris begs both free throws. French Pro-Am up three to two here early in the game. First period. French Pro-Am in the right. Jump shot on the way off the front rim. It was a three point attempt. Here come the finish select. Pulls up just inside the three-point mark, and it's good. Again, we have two number fives. Kevin Josie there with the jump shot. On the way, a jump shot from the corner pocket. Out. Here come the finish select on the break. Nice pass given up. Off the backboard. No good. There's a scramble for it. Finish select. Loses it underneath. French Pro-Am now coming the other way, left to right. All right, we got the finish select in the dark jerseys inbounding it here. Lamont Middleton with the basketball for the finish select. Gives it up, three point attempt on the way and, no, and good. That's a three pointer for Rayford. Rayford Worsham. That's one of the players there, Matt, that was the same number four there, but he's got the white shoes. So Worsham off to a good start, hits his first attempt. Right now, finish select being the aggressor. Just inside the three point line there. Trey Hunter for the French Pro-Am. Finish select off to an early eight to five start here. In the dark jerseys going right to left. Drives, the ball's punched away, but finish select retains it. Jump shot right at the top of the key, in and out. Ron Spencer's ball just rimmed the basket. We're gonna stay right here though. Ball ran out off of the French Pro-Am. Finish select will have a ball underneath the basket. Six minutes, 55 seconds left here. Period number one of game one here. Session B, Global Basketball Summer League Tournament. Jump shot, three point shot is good. Kendall, Go Xavier Brown with a three point attempt and it drops it in. Turnaround jumper right now. Nothing but net right there. Beautiful shot by Taylor Bessick. What do you think of the pace of the game right now, Matt? You like it? Well, as I mentioned in the open, I believe both teams are feeling each other out. And this Finnish select team is the aggressor right now. And much like they were uh, in session A of this tournament, they're looking very good. 
Looks like we've got a, a violation, Matt. Three seconds in the lane. Oh, excuse me. It looks like illegal defense is what they're calling, Matt. Got a technical foul. They're going to get one free throw and retain the basketball. Lamont Middleton, makes the ball shot for the Lamont Middleton converts the free throw, and he will take the ball on the side out for the finish select. Inbounds it to Worsham. Jump shot off the front iron. Retained by Michael Orris. We're gonna have a foul after the shot. Middleton took the, it's like about a 20 footer just inside the three point line. And after the shot, he was fouled as he came down. You have to give that, that offensive player, Matt, time to come down onto the court there. And looks like the defender got underneath him a little bit. I like that call though, Matt, it helps the players. We don't wanna see somebody come up with a twisted ankle. Yeah, I mean, we saw in the playoffs in the NBA the uh, Zaza Pachulia, Kawhi Leonard situation, and you don't want a situation like that where a defender's defending a shot and comes down on the ankle of somebody that's never good. That can result in a lot of injuries. Drops the second one in here. Finish select with an early 13 to seven lead. Six minutes in the first period here. From Las Vegas, Nevada, we're at the Doolittle Community Center, game one of the Global Basketball Summer League. Finish select, knocks it out of bounds. We're gonna have an early timeout here, a media timeout. That'll give us a chance to talk a little bit about what's going on here. The finish select team off to a, a wonderful start, leading 13 to seven. Everybody feeling each other out here, Matt, just as we are here. We got the kinks worked out. We're working with the 22 second shot clock which uh, well, might, well might speed up the game a little bit. We might have a few more points in the game, either that or we'll have a few more turnovers, right? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, you looking forward to going over to the NBA Summer League tonight, watching your Goldens, are watching our Golden State Warriors, the NBA champions, take on the Cleveland Cavaliers in the Summer League basketball, Matt Powell? Yeah, I'm very excited to see the prospects that are gonna be there with the um, Many, but right now we're going to go to Atonye with an update. What do you have for us, Atonye? Hey. Need to, to come out with the victory. And he told me great, solid defensively, and to have great uh, team chemistry offensively. Back to you guys. Uh, we're going to get back into live action right here. Five minutes, 48 seconds left. The finish select team leading 13 to 7. They're in the dark jerseys. The French Pro-Am is in the white jerseys. There's the inbound pass. It's good defense here right now. The Finnish select team's really working hard on defense. And right now their team seems to re really have a lot of energy, a lot of team spirit. I like to see it, Matt. We've, these players have all come together from around the nation. Had one practice yesterday and possibly got to work a little bit together before the ball game today. French Pro-Am underneath the basket, taking it in. Inbound pass. Shot clock running down, there's a pass. Balls, there's that shot clock violation. Yeah, maybe that uh, that might be a, a uh, something that we're gonna see a little bit more often now with 22 second shot clock. It's gonna be a turnover. Finish select will be getting the ball inbounds here on the sideline. Again, I mentioned this in their dark jerseys. There's no name, team names on the jersey, so I'm gonna keep mentioning that to you. Finish select here. On the right, going right to left. Ball's inbounded to Michael Orris. He's number four with the black shoes. Back to Michael. Gets a screen up high. Good defense here by the French Pro-Am. Shot clock running down. Drive to the hoop, little float shot off the back rim. I like finish select's aggressiveness here, getting the offensive rebound and constantly pushing the ball. Substitution for French Pro-Am. Gonna have a substitution here. 
Big seven foot one, tallest player in the tournament. Connor Voss will be entering the game for the Finnish select team. Along with BJ Watson. Working the kinks out here at the scorer's table. Again, I'm Nick Madison, along with my partner here, Matt Fowler, the Sonoma County Connection. Matt and I reside in uh, Northern California. Here's the ball being inbounded. French Pro-Am with the white uniforms going left to right with the basketball, trailing 13 to seven. Five minutes here remain in the first period. Jump shot on the way here. Dakari Archer buries a 15-footer on the right side of the elbow. Ball goes back into Xavier Brown. Fall away jump shot off the front iron. Here come the French Pro-Am. Ball a little sloppy. It's going to be a turnover. We're coming the other way. Three on two. Beautiful pass. Beautiful pass by Lamont Middleton. Dropped it off to Xavier Brown there for the basket. I think we made a mistake on the scoreboard there. We're going to get it switched away. Well, it looks like the shot clock is back working at 24, so we'll keep it that way. And almost an and one there. There's a foul on the play. Foul's going to be on Greg Spencer, the second. Michael Orris will go to the line. Well, according to my, according to me, that that's going to be Michael Orris. Okay. Well, yeah, it's going to be Michael. We got a little challenge here today, Matt. That's going to be Rafael Worsham because he's wearing the white shoes and wearing number four. We're sorry about this there, but. Uh, they only had 10 jerseys. 15 to nine here, early in the first period of game one here, the Global Basketball Summer League session two. Worsham on the foul line for his second attempt. First shot, no good. Left-handed, shots up, off the front rim. He misses both free throws. Boy, Matt, I'll tell you, I hate to see these young men miss all these free throws from the charity strike. French Pro-Am on offense here, going left to right in the white jerseys. Archer dishes it out. Three-point attempt is good by Josh Fortune. 15 to 12 here. Finish selecting the dark jerseys with the lead. Ball goes into Middleton. He's got a dance partner that he liked. Backed him in, there's gonna be a foul call. Nope, looks like three seconds in the key. That's one of the, we haven't seen that call very much in the tournament so far, Matt. Have you had seen that in any of your games? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, if it happens, you gotta call it. El oh, it's so, illegal defense, it looks like. So yeah, so it isn't, it's not a question of whether I've seen it happen, it's a question of whether it happened. And it hasn't very often. These players have been very good about not violating that rule. We are using the NBA rules here. 10 minute quarters, abbreviated halftime. There's the outlet by the French Pro-Am and here they come down the court here from the left to the right in the white jerseys. Trailing 15 to 12 here. Nice bounce pass, beautiful bounce pass right there by Jordan Martin just set up a beautiful bounce pass right there. And Greg Spencer the second, 5'11", 175 out of Miles College. Yeah, he got the, just a beautiful assist right there. Sharing is caring, and that was a beautiful pass right there by Jordan Martin. Found the open player. Ball comes off the backboard, off the glass. French Pro-Am coming down now in offense. There's the trailer. The big man gets it up, the seven-footer deflected it, I believe he got a little part of it. Off the glass, no good. Trying to get it into Spencer Voss. Excuse me, Connor Voss, ball goes out of bounds. 
We're gonna take our second time out of the game right here, Matt Fowler. Finish select leading 16 to 14, two minutes, 26 sec six seconds left in period number one. Game one here in session B. Three more games on tap today. Come on down to the Doolittle Community Center here. There's plenty of seats available. I believe it's $10 to get in, Matt. You could stay all day and watch all the games or just stay for one. Later on tonight, the Golden State Warriors take on the Cleveland Cavaliers. That's gonna be interesting there to get over there. Matt Fowler's looking forward to that. I think I'm gonna probably take it easy a little bit here tonight, Matt, after the ball game. So Matt Fowler, tell us a little bit about yourself while we got this timeout. Tell us a little bit about you. I know you uh, do SF State play-by-play -play for their team. I did when I was a student there this past semester. I've since graduated. So that was a fun experience. Uh, I am loyal to my Gators, and they made the NCAA tournament this past season. So yeah, that was congratulations, man. That, that was that, really that was fun to be a part of, and and uh, I look forward to being a loyal alumnist and hopefully getting many other opportunities to support them. Well, congratulations, Matt, and good luck here in the future. We're gonna get back in the action here. Finish selects inbounding the ball. Seven foot one, Connor Voss hands it off to their little guard. Lotham tried to get it back to Connor Voss as he rolled to the hoop. It's gonna be a turnover. Here comes the French Pro-M. Moving the ball nicely here. At the Archer with the ball for French Pro-Am. Knocked out of bounds by the finish select. We're gonna have a substitute coming into the game here, a couple of them. Into the game for the first time is Ben Hall for the French Pro-Am. French Pro-Am with the basketball in the white jerseys. Ball goes into Martin, makes a move to the middle against the seven footer, spin around jumper off the back iron. Connor Boss with the rebound. Gets it to BJ Watson. Oh, beautiful pin drive. Gonna be a foul on the drive. Going to the foul line here is Shane Carter, six foot three. He's Bronx Holy Flames were his last team. He averaged 20 points a game for them. Matt, that's that's a, quite an output there for him. Goes to the free throw line here. First free throw up and in, nothing but net. Yeah, Matt, I really believe free throw shooting is a lost art. You know, you see a lot of these kids these days, everybody wants to move out to the three-point line. Nobody wants to work on free throws anymore, and it's such an important part. And, Carter drops both free throws, Matt. What's your thought on the free throws these days? Is something that well, free throws are a fundamental part of the game that everybody has to has to execute, and I don't see the three-point shot as an alternative to free throws, and I don't honestly don't see other people who think that way, but I, I do understand maybe the, the big men the ones that aren't as versatile when it comes to free throws, uh, they do need to work on it more and they can't just rely on their sheer size to be a dominant force. Yeah, very good, Matt. You know, I just think what happens, Matt, is on the free throw line and making the first one here is Jeff, Josh Fortune for the French Pro-Am. I think what happens, Matt, is people don't want to go to the foul line and practice. It's, it's repetitions. Everybody wants to step out to the three-point line and Fortune buries both free throws. Good for him like to see that, you know, 80% free throw shooting is what the goal should be for every individual player. And I like to say 50, 40, 80, 50% 50 on the field goals, 40% from the three point line and 80% from the foul line. You get those stats, Matt, you're gonna get people here to to open your their eyes and they're gonna, they're gonna observe you and you're gonna stand out. You're gonna distinguish yourself. 50, 40, 80, keep that in mind. You add some assists and rebounds, now you really got a good resume going there for yourself. French Pro-Am to the basket, beautiful drive. Dakari Laid it up Archer. over the front rim there, Dakari Archer. Didn't, nobody helped on defense and he got by his defender. Nothing but net there, dropped it in over the front rim. Here comes the finish select, beautiful pass. 
lay it in off the glass. The, the bank was open on that one, Matt. Roger Lotman laid it in on a beautiful assist. B.J. Watson. Jump shot from the 15 foot straight off, off the back rim. Finish select in the dark, dark jerseys coming down here now. Leading 20 to 18, right here at the end of the first period. Connor Boss back in his way in, the seven footer spins, uses his left hand and off the glass. That's a beautiful move right there by the seven foot one. Connor Voss played for the Columbia Lions. We, one of the few players we have that is a professional here in the league. What have you think? What have your thoughts on Connor so far that you've seen him play? You've seen several. Well, games I've talked to him um, on multiple occasions during this Global Basketball Summer League, and he really is a down-to-earth guy, and he he knows how to play the game, and his fundamentals are great. Yeah, and you know what? He's got he's got some. He's coordinated. You know, you get seven foot one. That's always the first thing you look for coordination, and obviously. He's done a really good job. He's a special player or he wouldn't be here. Again, I mentioned he's the only seven footer here in the tournament. French Pro-Am here with the basketball. Four seconds, three seconds, gotta get the shot up. There it is. And nothing but net. A fall away jumper by Dakari Archer. That's gonna do it here for the first period. Finish select, ends the period leading 22 to 20. Beautiful shot there by Archer, and we're gonna send it over to our sideline reporter, Sydney Cariel. Thanks guys. Right before the end of the first quarter, Coach Manu Schmidt told his team to hurry and set up on offense and get the right spacing. He wants them to move around and swing the ball more. As he stressed before the game, Coach Manu is really looking for efficiency on both sides of the ball. Guys? Thank you very much, Sydney Cariel there, the Hayward native. We've got the California connection going here. Nick Mattis, Matt Fowler, and Sydney Cariel. All of us reside in California, Matt and I in Northern California. 22 to 20 here in game one of the Global Basketball Summer League, session B. I thought that was a, you know, we worked some kinks out here in the first game, Matt. It was, you know, we're first period here that we had a little technical difficulties here at the scoreboard, on the scoreboard, but we, the fellas worked it out. We got it going here and we're gonna get, everything's gonna be running real smooth here. And I thought the last part of that quarter worked out pretty good. I thought the teams got in a little flow. The pace, the spacing that they had, I think was good. What were your thoughts there after we end the first period? Well, yeah, 22-20 is a, a good score for 10-minute quarters, and both teams have picked up the pace offensively, and we've also seen some good defense, so I think this is a good game so far. Yeah, very competitive. You know, we, I want to let everybody know here, these players are all individuals. These are not teams that have come in here. They have not worked out together, but maybe one practice, possibly two. So everybody's feeling themselves out here. This is an individual showcase here that Daryl Reshaw's put together, Global Basketball Summer League. All right, let's go. We're here in the second period. In the black uniforms here are the Finnish select team going right to left. There's Connor Voss, ball gets poked away. There's a foul call there. Ball got poked away there. Shane Carter picked it up for the Finnish select as he was going to the basket. He got fouled. He will go to the charity line here for two Ball free throws. Two Nine thirty-seven left in the period number two. Three more games on tap for today. So come on down if you're around Las Vegas here. Come on down, watch some basketball. Some really great athletes here. I got to tell you, I'm just impressed with the athleticism of these players. All of them really jump so well, shoot the basketball well. They would not have been invited here if they're not professional players that have the resume to be a professional player, I should say. And second free throw rims out. French Pro-Am with the basketball in the white. Archer made that shot right at the end. There's a turnover on the break here, the finish select. Nice defense by Archer, forces a pass. B.J. Watson with the basketball for finish select. Connor Voss with the 15-footer. Right from the elbow, right on cue there. 
Connor Boss shows he's got a little range on his jump shot. Nice defense by Connor Boss, does not get the foul called. Taylor Besick out of Iona drops it in over the seven footer, nice little jump hook. No foul called, great defense by Boss, it went straight up. 24 to 22, finish select in the dark jerseys with the lead. 8.39 here in the first, second period. Boss's shot is blocked. You don't see that very often. Perfect timing there by Devante Upson. Came over, perfect timing. He's six foot eight, 225 pounds. Lays it off the glass, it's short. Finish select on the drive. Little water bug there, number one, B.J. Watson finds. Got the basketball, steps in. 15 footer off the glass, no good. Besick with the rebound. Now gives it to Archer, who's coming up the court here. French Pro-Am. Ben Hall passes it over. Ball back into Archer. Gets to the 15 foot line. Passes it back for a three point shot. Beautiful. Josh Fortune. Three point land, nothing but net. French Pro-Am with their first lead of the game, 25 to 24. Seven minutes, 30 seconds left here. Period number two. Jump shot short. Taken out of the air by Josh Fortune. Brings it coast to coast. He's fouled. Fortune got the rebound, came down the court. Nobody stopped him. Penetrated into the left side. Fouled on his shot attempt. He will go to the charity stripe for two shots. Well, the pace of the game is kind of picking up, Matt. Picking up a little bit here. and. First lead of the game here for the French Pro-Am. First free throw up and good. And this is shaping up to be a tight contest here. Well, I was impressed, Matt, in the first session here, session A, we had, I would think there was only one game out of the 12 that was lopsided. And that was that first game you did with the finish select in the Windsor Express. Uh, the finish selected team that won the tournament ended up winning that game by about 25 points, but other games that were all came down into the fourth quarter. Everybody sat in their seats till the end of the game. And this looks like it's gonna be another well-played game and tight to the finish. 27-24, the French Pro-Am has taken the lead. Rebound by the French Pro-Am, they're on the break. Oh, excellent hustle. B.J. Watson of the finish select team got down there Gave his body up, tried to keep it inbounds. Ball goes out of bounds. It'll be French Pro-Am with the ball. It's gonna be underneath the basket. Jakari Archer will inbound the ball for the French Pro-Am in the white uniforms. These teams don't have their names on the uniform, so I'm gonna keep referring to them with the white and the dark jerseys. Back up, beautiful, beautiful spin move there by Josh Fortune. Took his time, was patient, spun 180. Bank was open, used the glass. Extends the lead for the French Pro-Am, 29-24. Six minutes, 44 seconds left here in period number two. Finish select in the dark uniforms. Jump shot on the way. Jadante Fry misses off the front rim. Three-point attempt on the way. Around and in. Taylor Vesick, the six foot nine, 245 man out of Iona, drops in a three-point, showing his range, Matt Fowler. Gotta and, like that. I believe the referees called that a two-point shot. My bad. Here's the correction. No foul called. Ball goes out of bounds. He'll stay right here. French Pro Am. We don't have any replays here, Matt, so we're gonna have to take the word of the official. It looked pretty close here from my side, but might have had a little bit of his toe on the black line there, so it's only two points. But you gotta be impressed with that range, though. Absolutely. Six foot nine, stepping out there to the three-point land. Here he is, backing in, number 10 here for the French Pro-Am, off the back iron. That was Jordan Martin. Finish select with the basketball. Three-point attempt on the way, off the front rim. There's a beautiful rebound and outlet by the French Pro-Am. Pulls up for a three-pointer. That was 
Greg Spencer the second. Little offline there. Nothing but air. Ball's a little sloppy. Beautiful save right there by the French finish select. Couldn't get his number there, Matt. Were you able to get it? Oh, it looks like it was number four there. It was Ray Worsham made a nice save over in the corner there. It's going to be a turnover, though. A little sloppy here. We're getting a little sloppy, a little hectic here. Right, right now, what we want to do is go over to Atonye for a report during the timeout. All right, that's great. We're going to go over to the, over to the girls here. In the huddle, Coach Larkus only talked about one thing, defense. He, th he told the team to play one-on-one -on -one defense, not to help in the post, and stay on your feet, and the offense will take care of itself. Back to you guys. Okay. Thank you very much there, Atonye Yigafa. Girls are doing a great job on the sidelines there, Matt. We've got some really good reporters with some good information coming through. You gotta love it. We're back here on a break here, I think timeout here at the Doolittle Community Center. Five minutes, 24 seconds left in period number two, game one here of the tournament, session B. The French Pro-Am has battled back after an early deficit to take a 31 to 24 lead over the finish select. Finish select will be in the dark jerseys. French Pro-Am in the white jerseys going from our left to our right. The finish select team in the dark jerseys going right to left. Our crew chief here today's game, Chris Merlot from Miami, Florida, holding the basketball. We're gonna get play started here shortly. The NBA referees here are working to get to the NBA here. These are all fine referees. I've been really impressed with the officiating in these games, Matt Fowler. Absolutely, and the referees this is the official uh, training program. There's a nice steal there. On the break, he's tripped up. There's going to be a foul call. Beautiful steal there that by number four. And again, I'm going to have to apologize. There's two number fours on the court there. That will be Ray Worsham, who, Rayford Worsham, who made the steal. He's at a Jackson State University wearing number four with the white shoes. Inbounding the ball, Lamont Middleton gets the ball to the second number four on the court. That'll be Michael Orris with the black shoes. Ball's gonna stay right here. Finish select will take it out under the basket. Inbounding the ball, Lamont Middleton. Swings the ball up to Michael Orris. Orris passes the ball to Middleton with a jump shot from the left corner. Nothing but net. 31-26, French Pro-Am with the lead and the basketball. Good defense out there on top by Michael Orris, working real hard, almost forced a turnover. Both teams working hard, that's gonna be stolen. Picked by Lamont Middleton, goes to the basket, lays it up and over the rim. Coach Manu Schmidt does not like what he's seeing right now. Matt Fowler's gonna call a timeout. Saw his team with the lead there, lead vanquished real quick on a couple of poor turnovers. French Pro-Am lead has been cut to three now, 31 to 28, 429 left in period number two. What do you think, Matt? What was the problem right there? They just uh, made some poor decisions? Well, yes, this Finnish select team is able to close the gap here and we've seen from them even though it's a different group of players it's just something about that Finnish select team um, that makes them tough to handle tough to put away tough to beat so we'll see what the French Pro-Am can do in terms of adjustments Matt I really like what I see out of these coaches they, they show their pedigree in these games they call timeouts in the right time I really think it's important when the game starts to, and we see in these games, these games are a lot of ebb and flow. Teams make runs. The coaches call the timeout at the right time, get their teams reorganized, they make some adjustments, they come out after timeouts, and they do a good job of getting their teams back into the games, making sure their lead does not get too big. We got a traveling call here, we're back into action. 
I'm Nick Mattis along with Matt Fowler. We're the Sonoma County Connection. Well, that's what we're calling ourselves here. Hope you appreciate that. And uh, we're at the Doolittle Community Center here in Las Vegas, Nevada. 31 to 28. French Pro-Am in the white with the lead. Finish selecting the dark jerseys. There's a jump shot off the back iron. Here come the French Pro-Am on the break. Trailer with the basketball. Number seven, Josh Fortune. Jump shot from the left corner pocket, no good, off the back iron. Finish select on the break, going right to left in the dark jerseys. All the way to the hoop, and get out of my house. Over helping out was Taylor Besick came over. Shot was up, but Besick said, get that out of here. That was an impressive block, Matt. It was, and that's what French Pro-Am needs to do more of. Tough defense. Besick, six foot nine out of Iona, came over there with a beautiful block, helped out on defense. They set up a wall. He was the last part of the defense there and did a nice job. The shot's off the front iron. One and done here for the finish select. Rebound by the French Pro-Am. Driving to the hoop, dishes it to the corner pocket. Fortune shots off the back rim. Pushing up the court now, the finish select. With the basketball, Michael Orris drives to the hoop. This looks like it's going to be a charging call. The defender there, B.J. Watson, did a nice job of establishing position, got run over, and got the charging call. That was good defense right there. Again, we talked about a lot of not a lot of uh, small players in this tournament. B.J. Watson, five foot seven. 150 pounds out of Park University. He's the smallest player on the court there for the finish select team. Ball goes inside, little jump hook blocked. Nice job there to stay with it. Yeah, De Devontae Upton ups and blocked the first shot, but he stuck with it, got it in there. Jordan Martin, 6'8", 235 out of Missouri State. He was persistent, no doubt about that. Paid off for him for two points. And now we're going to toss to Sydney Carriel. What do you have for us, Sydney? Coach Manu Schmidt told his players that they simply cannot play with that many turnovers. He said, be strong. They're going to put on the pressure, but hold on to the ball and make good passes. Guys? Thank you very much, Sydney Carriel. Matt, I was confused on what the last call was. Were you? Did you get something down here on this end when Finish Select had the basketball? Because I'm, I'm, I don't know why they got the ball out on the side out. It was a foul that was called, and they got the ball out because they had possession. It was in the front court. Okay. Thank you, Matt Fowler. I bet that one. I didn't see what happened there. Didn't see the call. Ball's lost out of bounds underneath. It's going to stay right here, though. Finish select in the white jerseys, leading 33 to 28, coming up on two minutes and 14 seconds left in period number two. They will inbound under the basket here. Archer inbounds there for the French Pro Am. Archer's the other, only other little guy here on the court here for the French Pro Am, five foot nine. 175 pounds out of Biola University. Ball inbounded to him. He's going to work the offense from the top. Fortune with the basketball. Bounces it inside. Nice backspin. Off the back rim, no good. He beat the shot clock, but the shot was missed. Here comes the finish select in the dark jerseys. Pulled up on the on a dime right there, left no change. 17 feet straight out. Michael Orris. Three point attempt on the way. Beautiful, nothing but net. That's a three pointer for Jonte Dotson. 36 to 30. French Pro Am up. Shot taken and missed by the French Select. Phoenix Select. Down the court, all the way. Passes out for an open three-point attempt. Around the rim and off. 
Had a good look at it right there. Fortune shot rim to rim. Venus select in the, finish select in the black jerseys here with the basketball. Ball stolen, poor pass. Fortune on the break, shot's blocked. Gets it back, makes a bad pass, stolen by Oris. Here come finish select on the break. Step back, jump shot, right corner, off the front rim. We got a foul called on the rebound. Foul calls on, called on Spencer, Ron Spencer from the finish select, finish select team reached in there, got called for the foul. French Pro-Am will take the ball out of bounds on the side, leading 36 to 30. 42.8 seconds remaining here in period number two. Game number one here, Nick Mattis, Matt Fowler, your Sonoma County connection bringing you this game. Three more games on tap today. Game number two, slated to start at 12 noon here. World Vision Sport, that's a new team, new sponsor coming in. We'll play against the Greek Connect. They got a fine coach there, the Greek Connect team. Linus Gabriel. 2 p.m., we've got Point Streak. Gonna take on the Windsor Express. Lewis Lofton will be coaching Point Streak. Scott Newman, the coach of Windsor Express. 4 p.m., the Washington Warhawks. I love that name, Warhawks. Isn't that a cool name? It is. Warhawks will be taking on the Canada Stars at 4 p.m. So come on down to Doolittle Community Center here. We're live at the Las Vegas, in Las Vegas, Nevada here. Global Basketball Summer League, Session B, Game 1. All right, we're back into action. Let's see if they go for a two-for-one here, Matt. 32 seconds. Yes, it will be. Oh, a beautiful right-handed hammer slam off the back rim, though. Dotson came around there, tried to hammer slam it. Excuse me, that's not Dotson, that was Kevin Josie. Came around, tried to hammer slam it. Ball came off the back rim. Finish select with the basketball. There's a jump shot just inside the three, off the front rim. Five seconds left with the basketball, the French Pro-Am and the lead. Ball. Kevin Josie, who had missed that hammer slam there, lost control of the ball as he came down the court, but boy, that was exciting. Josie went for the hammer slam as he came through the middle. The ball went off the back rim, but boy, that was an elevation sensation right there, Matt. I would have liked to have seen that got in because I think everybody in the stands would have gotten up, including you and I here at the uh, scorer's table because that was just exciting there, beautiful. Yeah, definitely. And we've all had a lot of, uh, a lot of fun here with the Glow Basketball Summer League in game one. And right now, I think we're going to take a short break at halftime and be back in a couple of minutes with a halftime report as you see us there. And uh, we're happy to be in Vegas, and we'll be back momentarily with your halftime report. Coach, your guys struggled with turnovers a lot in the first half. What adjustments did you make to help take a six-point lead heading into the second half? Uh, that's right. We had uh, too many turnovers because we want to go sometimes plays too too quick, too fast, too. Uh, so we have to stay under control, keep pushing the ball after after the rebound, and uh, and stay under control and organize our setup offense. So that's I think that's the key. And the second point is a couple of stupid of uh, offensive rebound we let, and we give second chance. So we have to adjust on those points. We noticed a few guys entered the roster after the game started. Does that impact your game plan at all? It, you know, it's difficult because we uh, we don't have um, no time to, to 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 learn to play together. But it's a good. I'm pretty satisfied because we the guys make the effort to understand what we want and and understand that it's better to share the ball and and work together to 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 show something consistent. So it's 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 not bad. Good luck the second half, Coach. Guys, back to you. Okay, well, welcome back here. We're live now here at the Doolittle Community Center. 
Global Basketball Summer League Session B, game one of the day here on, we've got three more games on tap for this tournament. I'm Nick Mattis with Matt Fowler. That was our Sidney Carriel there on the sideline reporter. And we want to thank Manu Schmidt for taking his time out there at halftime. His team is leading right now 36 to 30. The Finnish select teams had an early lead, but midway through the second period, the French Pro-Am took the lead and they've established it and, and built a six point lead here going into the third period. Matt Fowler, this is one of the lowest scoring halves that we've had though. In session one there we had, session A, excuse me, we had 12 games. I believe this was the lowest scoring half that we had in the, in the first previous 12 games, Matt. Absolutely. And looking at where the shooting is at for the finish select, they're shooting at, they shot at 57% in the first and only 29% in the second quarter. And that is why the score is what it is at 36 to 30 in favor of French Pro-Am. Finish select with the dark jerseys. That's stolen by the white team, which is the French Pro-Am. And there's a two-hand hammer slam. Makes his presence felt. He's just into the ball game here. Aaron Nwanko out of University of Pittsburgh for the French Pro-Am. Got it, getting his first action in the game. There's a jump shot. Nothing but air there. Ball's gonna stay right here. No, it's, it's gonna be changing possessions. I think this finish select team is a little bit amped up coming out of halftime and maybe they just need to scale it back a little bit and calm down and realize there's a lot of time left in the game. Well, 38-30 lead right here for the white team going right to left, which is the French Pro-Am. Ball goes in there to Nwanku. Turnaround jump shot. Air ball taken by the Finnish select team coming up the court here. With the basketball, B.J. Watson. Gets the ball in there to number six. Shane Carter, excuse me, Xavier Brown. Move the pivot foot there, that's a traveling violation. Good call, Matt, couldn't see it over there. I thought maybe he stepped out of bounds, but uh, they're gonna get the traveling call. It's a turnover, that's the bottom line. We mentioned earlier, turnovers are the key in the game. Try to get shot attempts each and every time down the court. Not knowing each other, the teams don't play together. There's gonna be a lot of turnovers, so team that nice spin shot beautiful spin shot off the backboard there by Kevin Josie Josie's a special player Matt I didn't know see if you noticed this though but uh, he averaged 45 points played in the APBL the New York fearless came in here with a 45 point average per game sign that guy <laughs> like now don't wait <laughs> the, the, <laughs> seriously the next time I'll get an agent over there with a contract <laughs> he just just did a spin shot, just did a spin shot off the glass right there that was just beautiful. He looks like he's an offensive-minded player. You know, normally we would not say this on a broadcast, but I, I, I want that checked. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, it could be a typo. Well, hey, but right now we're going to run with it since we mentioned it. Con opinions with convention, conviction here, Matt. Both free throws made by, by Xavier Brown right there. He's out of Park University. Accurate average pending. We will get that to you. <laughs> Very good. 40 to 32. Team in the white is the French Pro-Am with the lead. Shaw's shots missed off the backboard. Ball's kind of getting control of it. A little sloppy and hectic out here right now. You got to see 100% effort. All the teams are giving it, all the individuals. Everybody's given 100% effort. Ball going to be inbounded by Brown. Gets the ball into B.J. Watson. He's running the point there. Off to Carter. Carter with the jump shot. Left angle. It's going to be a foul called after the shot. Carter took the 17-foot jump. Jump shot right off the left elbow there. After the shot, he was fouled. It's going to go to the free throw line here for two shots from the charity strike. Nick Mattis with Matt Fowler here. Doolittle Community Center. First free throw off the back iron. 
Seven minutes, 56 seconds left. It remains in period number three. Both free throws miss, Matt. Don't get me going on the free throws. French Pro-Am. Travel violation there. Drug his pivot foot there before the basketball hit the ground on the dribble. Turnover for the French Pro-Am. Finish select in the dark jerseys. Left to right here, trailing by eight. Lotman gets the ball to B.J. Watson, tries to force it inside, it's knocked away, turnover. Archer bringing it up for the French Pro-Am. Archer five foot nine, one of the smaller players on the court, obviously. Ball tries to force it inside, another turnover. Gonna be a foul called. Brown got tripped up right there. He's going to take it down to the side here. 40 to 32. French Pro-Am in the whites with the lead. Seven minutes, 17 seconds remain here. Period number three. Ball goes back to Brown. He's going to get it inside to the big man. Backs his way in, two dribbles, turn around, jump shot off the back rim. Duenko with the rebound and the outlet pass for the French Pro-Am in the white with the lead, 40 to 32. French Pro-Am seems to have made a lot of adjustments coming out of halftime. Jump shot. look much better. Jump shot there by Archer off the back rim, but it's gonna stay right here. The ball got lost out of bounds there by finish select. Looked like Lopeman might have got hit in the head on the so rebound, no foul called. Fortune coming back into the game, had a real good first half, I thought, Matt, for the French Pro-Am. Did a nice job there. Fortune did it, had a nice job. Here comes the finish select. There's gonna be a foul call. Looks on the screen there, Matt. Moving screen, maybe? It's a blocking foul. Okay. He's going around the screen there. Couldn't really see what the call was. Finish select's going to have it side out. Ran a nice little inbound play. I like that. Little picket fence right there. Driving to the hoop. Throwing it up off the glass. No good, but offensive rebound. Nice. Lopeman got the rebound there. Watson penetrated. Ball went off the... Off the glass, the bank was not open. But Lopeman picked it up, laid it back in. Cuts the lead to six, 40-34 here. Six minutes remain, period number three. French Pro-Am with the basketball. Beautiful spin move, kicks it out, jump shot, right angle. Shot clock violation. Boy, I really enjoyed that Archer Penetrated for the French Pro-Am right there. Had a nice feedback. Just couldn't get the shot off in time and the shot clock violation there. We're gonna take a timeout though, Matt Fowler. Five minutes, 56 seconds remain here. Period number three, Nick Mattis with Matt Fowler. Game one here of session B here, the Global Basketball League tournament here, Matt. And teams, both teams a little bit a little bit tough here on offense for both teams right now. This is one of the lower scoring games we've had so far. Well, well both teams are, are jittery, but they seem to have worked out the jitter, so to speak. French Pro-Am was having a difficult time with finish select in the first half, but they've righted the ship, they've made their adjustments, and they look very, very well poised to win this game. Well, there's a long way to go. Six minutes here, Urbain almost at third period, but they are in a position of a lead right now, six points. Uh, I think Finish Select is going to have a run. We've seen throughout the tournament that teams have made runs in the tournament. Another nice timeout called at the appropriate time. These coaches are right on their games. And I'll tell you, if you're a coach, watch these guys. They, it's the right time to call a timeout. Your team is stumbling. They're not having any kind of a momentum. Call timeout. Get a little break. Get, re, get reorganized. So uh, well done by these coaches. All right, we're going to get back to live action here. Six-point lead for the French Pro-Am in the white. 
Finish select in the dark jerseys, going left to right with the basketball. No names on the jerseys. No team names on the jerseys or names of the players. Off the backboard, a little too high. Scramble for the loose ball. Beautiful around the back there. Nice job by Spencer the second there. Ball handling. Gets the ball back there. Greg Spencer the second out of Miles College. Again, each of these players trying to showcase their skills, trying to get a scout from somewhere around the world to notice them and want them to come and play professional. There's a jump shot. Got partially blocked. A lot of contact on that. Nice deflection, but I was surprised that a foul wasn't called there. Yeah, well, maybe, maybe after the shot, it certainly looked like there could have been a foul. Down the court came the finish select on the break, but the ball was batted out of bounds. Nice defense. They will retain possession and take it out on the side here. B.J. Watson with the fall away jump shot. Beautiful right elbow. 17 foot right elbow there. B.J. Watson is on the scoreboard. That's his first points, I believe. 40 to 36. French Pro-Am with the lead. Little float jump shot off the back rim. B.J. Watson with the rebound, gonna take it down court, finds the trailer with a Ooh. hammer slam with the right hand and we got a foul call. Wonderful pass set there by B.J. Watson, found the trailer, Devonta Upson, two steps and a hammer slam with the right hand. Everybody in this arena standing after that beautiful athletic play. Boy, that's what I'll tell you. That's what I'm talking about right there, Matt Fowler. That was nasty. <laughs> that was nasty. And we've seen that throughout the whole tournament. These guys are just elevation sensations, okay? Athletic guys that can just elevate off the court. And just, oh, I just can't tell you. You got to get down here. Global Basketball Summer League Tournament will be here the next two days here. The championship games will be on Wednesday. 12 noon on Wednesday is the championship game. Upson hits the, the uh, free throw, the old fashioned three pointer, and boy, that was a beautiful play. Ball goes inside now, pump fake. Tried to get his own hammer slam, there was Taylor Bessick. Ball rattled off the back rim, that would have been a nice one too. Right on cue, Matt Fowler. With the basketball, Michael Orris. Swings it up to the top, they're gonna get it inside. We've got the mismatch there. Exploited, that's good. Lamont Middleton wanted that dance. Had a partner that he liked on him. There's a steal. Let's watch this, here he comes. There Ooh. it is again. There it is again. Devontae Upson gets the steal, goes down the court. Boy, I'd like to see a replay on that, Matt. Everybody here is fired up. That's got the Finnish select team in the lead now. Well, I have to say the scouts are loving that one. I think we all are. The scouts, the fans, you and I at the scorer's table. Just an excellent steal. Went down the court. The defender did the right thing, Matt. He tried to pick him down low. Once he missed that, there was no question that was going to be a sensational hammer slam with two hands. Backboard rattled. Net came up. Oh, boy. I just I don't know how to describe that any better. Just everybody here. That got my blood running, Matt Fowler. How about yours? Yeah, there you go. I mean, athletic plays, athletic dunks. It's all happening here at the Global Basketball Summer League in Las Vegas at the Doolittle Community Center. And the thing is, and what I said was, I, I believe that the French Pro-Am had a, was in a good position to win this game. Well, they were, and so is finished select. The both teams are in a good position to win this game. I'm doubling down. We're in Vegas. I'm doubling down on my prediction that one of these teams is going to win this game, okay? Now that's well said, Matt Val. I, I can't that. be wrong on that. <laughs> well said, Matt. That's great. Finish select has taken the lead now, 43 to 40. Matt Fowler, Nick Mattis coming to you live here from Las Vegas, Nevada. Up and in off the backboard, off the glass there. Trey Hunter. Answers the call there, those two monster slams by Devontae Upson of the Phoenix Select team. 43-42 with the lead and the basketball. Finish Select in the dark jerseys. Ball gets up off the rim. 
No good. Here comes the French Pro-Am in the white jerseys, right to left, trailing by one. Trey Hunter with the basketball, fall away, jump shot, good, right angle. 18 feet, right elbow. Seesaw battle right now, back and forth. French Pro-Am retake the lead, 44-43. Three minutes left, just under three minutes left here, period number three, jump shot on the way, in and out, tough roll. Big Connor Voss tried to get the offensive rebound, couldn't get it, but here is the French Pro-Am, three-point attempt on the way, off the right side. Taylor Bessick, six foot nine, tried the three-pointer just off line on the right. Got a foul called underneath. We're gonna stay right here. French Pro-Am in the white jerseys with the one-point lead. Right to left here. Ball goes inbound to Josh Fortune. Played for Colorado University. He's got the basketball, penetrates, pulls up, jump hook. No good, foul called on the shot. The pace quickening here, the energy ramping up a little bit well, those, we head towards the fourth quarter. Well, those hammer dunks, I think, just got everybody going. Our blood, the people in the, in the, in the arena here, everybody got fired up about that. They were just sensational. First free throw up over the rim and in. Josh Fortune. Fortune having a good game here. Leading scorer for the French Pro-Am. Second free throw up and in. Extends the lead to three, 46-43 for the French Pro-Am in the white jerseys. Oris passes the ball, drive to the hoop, left hand shot, no good, but gets his own rebound, puts it back in. Jadante Fry out of Nicholas State. Stayed persistent, got the miss, laid it back in. Cuts the lead to one, 46-45, French Pro-Am. Stay right here, basketball, got a kick on the, on the bounce pass. Tried to work a little give and go right there. Teams playing very well. I wanna make sure everybody understands these are not teams, these are individual players. They were drafted, put on teams when they came here. Trying to be a cohesive unit after one practice, maybe two. First game of the tournament, they're gonna play two more games. They'll probably get to practice a little bit more, Matt, before each game. So as the tournament progresses, I would like to think that they would become more cohesive. Nick Mattis here and Matt Fowler. Sonoma County Connection working this game. Backing his way in, turnaround jump shot. Bessick off the iron. Rebounded by the seven-footer Voss, gets it out. Nice fast break. Ball blocked by Bessick. Boy, he's really doing a good job of controlling the paint here for the French Pro-Am. Jump shot with the left hand. And nothing but net, Michael Orris out of South Dakota State University, six foot two. Corner pocket, drops it through. Finish select now in the lead. Short lived. Trey Hunter answers it. We're going seesaw battle here, Matt. Back and forth here. 48-47, French Pro-Am in the lead in the white jerseys. Finish select in the dark jerseys with the basketball. Getting a high screen from the seven footer. Rolls to the hoop, the left, that goes with the right hand. Middleton. Middleton went with his right hand as he got around there, laid it in. Seesaw in here with 53 seconds and counting. Third period. Back to Bessick at the top, he swings it over to Fortune. Fortune bounces it into the paint, drives in. Voss comes over late, might be a foul call on Connor Voss. Came over to help out on that. Going to the free throw line here is gonna be Jordan Martin. Jordan Martin, six foot eight, 235 pounder out of Missouri State. His team trailing by one. French pro, am, seesaw battle here. First free throw up and in. That will tie the game at 49. 37.9 seconds remaining here in period number three. Coming to you live 
in Las Vegas, Nevada from the Doolittle Community Center. Here comes the finish select on the break. Michael Loris right down the middle. Stops, dishes it out. Middleton with the basketball is going to set it up. Clock running down, 12 on the shot clock. Middleton looking inside, can't find Boss. Passes it back out, 18-footer short. Boss fighting for the rebound. Loses it out of bounds. French Pro-Am's gonna take over here. 16.5 seconds left with the one point lead and the basketball. Let's see what French Pro-Am can do here with 10 seconds remaining. Running the offense here. Number seven, Josh Fortune dribbles around. Stolen, throws up a shot. No foul called. Fortune had a little trouble getting rid of it there. Good defense by the finish select. Well, that'll do it here for the third period. 10 minutes left in game one here. Session B from the, at the Global Basketball Summer League. We're gonna go ahead and swing it over to Atanye on the sideline. Atanye? Coach Larkin talked to his team about pushing the ball in transition. He said, if not, bring the ball out, slow it down, and set the offense. Back to you guys. Very good. All right, Nick Mattis back here with Matt Fowler. Doolittle Community Center here in Las Vegas, Nevada for the start of the fourth period. With the basketball and the lead, the French Pro-Am going from your right to your left. Fortune with the basketball. Gets it over to Hunter. Good defense by Oris. Michael Oris there, the Finch. Phoenix select. Got called for the reach in foul. Boy, that was some defensive tenacity shown by Michael Loris. If he wouldn't have reached in, which was his mistake, his footwork was superb there, Matt. It was. It was good defensive stance. It just got a little bit over aggressive. Yeah, that's a good, good uh, learning, learning point there. Try not to reach in. Keep your hands out to the side. If the ball comes in, then you can get it. Go ahead. But when you reach in, you might get called for the foul. You move your feet first there. Here's the French Pro-Am with the basketball. Greg Spencer the second. Offensive foul there is, I believe he, yeah, it was an illegal screen there. Good call, Matt. The big guy there, number nine, Taylor Bessick. Got to keep his position until the defender get around him, and he did not do it. Bessick's played outstanding, though. He's really done a good job of controlling the paint. We've got a lot of big trees in there, and. Bessick's one of, the, one of the taller ones, and he's done a good job of controlling the paint for the French Pro-Am in the white jerseys. With the basketball, the finish select in the dark jerseys. Nice spin move and a pump. Gives it off to the big man who uses the glass. The bank is open. Drops it through. Ron Spencer. Finish select. Nobody on him. The defender fell down right there. Jordan Martin turned, nobody around there. Laid it off the glass. Seesaw battle here going back and forth. Finish select with the basketball and the dark jerseys. Pass goes inside. Knocked away and stolen by Taylor Bessick. The French Pro-Am on the move here. With the basketball penetrating, foul called. Referring to Jordan Martin, I literally just heard one of the finish select players on the bench say we can't guard him. Yeah, he's... And he's, it, was, it was evident on that last play. Yeah, very good. Well, when the defenders start saying that they can't guard you, you know you're a pretty on special bench, talent. Yeah. When a guy on the bench starts saying that? Yeah, that's pretty special talent, Matt Fowler. Very good. 51, 52 to 51. French Pro-Am with the lead. First free throw up. Misses off the right iron. Free throws could become important, as they always do here in the fourth period. Got to start making your shots from the charity stripe. They call it the charity stripe for a reason. They're free throws. Nobody guarding you. 15 feet away, you got to make the shot. Second one's up and in. Boy, Matt, I'll tell you, the free throw is something I really get my blood pressure up on. You got to make free throws, at least eight out of 10. Here's with the finish select team coming up court. Dishes inside to the big man. The big man backs his way in, two dribbles, passes out. Oris with the basketball, nice spin move, drives off the, no, blocked. Get out of the house here, retains the basketball, open shot, off the back rim. Morris had, Morris, Oris had a good look right there, missed it, stolen. Float shot. 
Game getting a little hectic here, Matt. French Pro-Am with the basketball and a two-point lead. Three-point attempt up on the way. Off the back iron, Fortune misses, but it's stolen here. Finish select on the drive. Nice bounce pass, crossover, off the glass, off the front rim, too hard. It's a beautiful move, just a little bit too much English. Three-pointer, there you go. That's a three Finn Trey Hall. Hunter. Steps in, hits the basket. 56-51, French Pro-Am in the lead. Finish select with the basketball, kicks it out, driving to the hoop, tries to throw up one off the backboard. He's called, there is a foul called. Roger Lopeman went in there, used his left hand nicely, Matt. Right-handed player, swung it up with his left hand. The foul down there, down below, below, excuse me. Lopeman go to the line here, going, trailing by five points. Critical free throws here, Matt. As they all are in the fourth period, rattles around and off. Substitution in for French Prime, number one, Dakari Archer. And free throws are a part of the game that a lot of guys don't practice because, and let's be fair, a lot of guys are 75% anyway, so they don't really think they need to practice because they can get away with it. But, and maybe they can, but a lot of guys, fast break, easy layup. A lot of guys think that they. That 75% is good enough and they, yeah, they want to improve on it, okay. And, and at 60%, some of the guys, they need to improve on it. With the basketball, the French Pro-Am. Leading 56 to 53, seven minutes remain here in the fourth period. Nice little jump hook, off the glass, no good. Here comes the finish select on the break. Right down the middle, underneath the basket. Pump fake, no good, goes to the baseline, pull up, 15 footer from the right corner pocket. Lamont Middleton drops it through. Cuts the lead to one. And that was a great pump fake. The pump fake set up that shot. Fortune with it. Three-point attempt for straight on, off the rim and off to the right. Finish select with the basketball, trailing by one. Six minutes, 20 seconds left here in the fourth period. Oris over to the, with the bas basketball back. Looks for a screen, dishes it out. Two seconds on the shot clock. And that's just, you gotta have clock awareness there. And good defense, both, combination there. Good defense by the French Pro-Am. Everybody hustled, stayed in the position. Awareness of the shot clock was not there. A violation, a turnover. They didn't get a shot attempt up. They're trailing by one. And I just want to make the point on that last three-point attempt that was off. Statistically, that shot, because it wasn't a three, his foot was on the line, it was a two. Statistically, that is the worst shot in basketball because it's literally an inch from a two and a three. Why would, why would you take that shot? And that's something that that player will learn. And this is all a growing experience and a learning experience at Global Basketball. That's a great point, Matt. I'm glad you pointed that out because it just doesn't make sense. Get back in the other part and get back for the three or, or, or move in closer. Shot made by the finish select. Ooh, nice block. Here come the finish select back the other way on the... Tried to slam dunk it there, off the rim there. Michael Rayford Worsham tried to slam it there, 6-5 out of Jackson State. The ball rolled around, no good. We're gonna get a timeout here. French Pro-Am leading 58 to 57. Five minutes, 17 seconds remaining in the fourth period here. Game one of the Global Basketball Session B Tournament. Nick Mattis, Matt Fowler, Sonoma County co connection here bringing you the first game here. Anybody's ball game at 58-57 in favor of French Pro-Am. And, and Nick, I just, this game has been, we've seen a little bit of everything in terms of one team goes up, the other team battles back, and now they're even and they're grinding and every possession is tension filled because you just don't know because one bounce of the ball can affect it 
in a positive or negative way for any team. Yeah, well said. I like to call this the uh, classical seesaw battle. I love this, okay? By the time I say the score, the other teams come down the court, they've scored. It's just back and forth, Matt, and I love it. Five minutes, 17 seconds left here. Game one, I think the fans and everybody, including ourselves, are really enjoying this game. It's just as close as can be, and I think it's gonna continue this way all the way to the last tick of the clock. Both coaches doing a good job of keeping their teams on the same page, using the timeouts at the right time. Manu Schmidt there for the French Pro-Am called the timeout, worked up something. On the other side there, Miko Larkas for the Phoenix Select team. They're both doing their jobs, working really well. Ball inbounded here for the French Pro-Am in the white, going right to left. Their little point guard, Dakari Archer, setting up the offense, gets it inside. The big man, little jump hook off the front rim. Needed to take just a little bit more time to eye it up there. That was Jordan Martin. Little jump hook off the front rim. Finish select with the basketball. Trailing by one. Bounce pass in the corner. Drive into the hoop. Lays it off. Tries to get the shot up. There's going to be a foul call. Now that was excellent ball movement right there. A little two-man game between... Uh, number five, Shane Carter. And number four there, Michael Orris. We're working it back and forth. Little two-man game. Lokman going to the line here. First free throw off the back rim. We mentioned again, important free throws. That's the third one missed in a row here by the Finnish select team. In the game now, Devontae Upsid gave us those two monster hammer slams. Got this place just rocking earlier. Re-enters the game. Second free throw, in and out. Ball rattles around and here comes the French Pro-Am. Loses the basketball, come back the other way. See if we're gonna Offensive get... foul. Excellent defense right there. Excellent defense right there. Took, took, his, took the charge there. Kevin Josie. Set his feet right in the ground, Matt. Didn't move. Excuse me, that was Javante, D Jonte Dotson. Got two players here who we're trying to figure it out here. Yeah, that was Dotson. Dotson took the charge right there, gave him credit. Stuck his feet right in the paint, didn't move, took the charge. Huge play right there. They're gonna work on getting some of the moisture off the court. Dangerous here. Four minutes, 35 seconds remain. 58 to 57. Let's throw it over to our sideline reporter, Sydney Cariel. In the timeout, Coach Manu told his team no turnovers. They've got to stop giving the ball away. He said, play safe. Don't wait until the shot clock is at five seconds to shoot. Manu wants them to keep swinging the ball on offense and keep on hustling. Guys. Thank you very much, Sydney. 58, 57, Matt. With the basketball and the one-point lead, the French Pro-Am. Four minutes, 31 seconds left here and counting. Fourth period, game number one. Down to the hoop, finds the open player, dishes it out. Nothing but net. Just inside the three-point line, Kevin Josie extends the lead to three. There's a three-point attempt on the way. Off the front iron, Devontae. Excellent play there by Josh Fortune. The French Pro-Am got the rebound. He was pinned in on the sideline there. Threw the ball off of Devontae Upson of the finish select. And the finish select will, ball goes out of bounds and now the French Pro-Am will get the ball inbounds here. And that was either gonna be an over the back foul or out of bounds anyway, because the defender was all over him and there definitely would have been a legal contact called. That's one of those where I mentioned sometimes the officials will let it go if the result would be the same, but if the result would have been different, they would have called the over-the-back foul, at least in my estimation. Yeah, I, I like that call too, Matt. You know what, if it didn't affect the play, then you go ahead, don't give the personal foul, just give the ball to the team that deserved it. Here we go, back into live action. In the white uniforms, the French Pro-Am with the basketball. Fortune for the jump shot and he drops it through the bottom. Fortune's been the leading scorer all game long for the French Pro-Am here. With the basketball, the Phoenix select. 
Finish select with the ball, trailing by five now. This is that point in the game, Matt. They need to score, they need to answer. Drives to the hoop, no foul called. A lot of contact. Off the backboard and the rebound there. Number five, Dotson. We got two fives on the court now, Matt. Matt. Dotson with the white shoes, Josie with the pink shoes. Keep an eye on that, as we will. Archer with the basketball, bad pass. Here comes the finish select, they need to finish, and he does, beautiful left hand lay-in. Nice two on one, I like the way they executed Greg that. Greg Spencer the second, yeah, the ball stayed in the middle of the court, was given up before he got too deep into the paint. Tried to get rid of the basketball at the 15 foot mark or deeper, which he did. Opens up the lanes for the your wings. Here's a three point attempt on the way and a huge wide shot. open, wide open. Dakari Archer with a beautiful three point shot there. Right side of the three point line. Extends the lead to six for the French Pro-Am. Somebody missed their assignment on that one. Two minutes, 28 seconds in counting here. Step back, jump shot off the front rim. Besic with the rebound for the French Pro-Am. They're gonna slow it down a little bit and set up. Archer running the offense here. It's an eight second violation. Wow. That does not happen often. That is just, there's no excuse for that. That's interesting, Matt. That's, I believe that's the first call we've seen in the 13th game of the tournament that we've seen an eight second call. They did not get the ball over the half point, half court point within eight seconds. And you gotta give props to these referees, these officials. I believe I saw it in one other game. I believe I saw it in one other game, but I am not sure, but that definitely was one. Okay, and all right, well that's so, two then. Uh, all right, so, so I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. That's the first very clear one that we've seen, and I couldn't believe when I saw it. I was looking at the clock, and I said, he needs to get it over, and there was nobody guarding him. So the, you know, usually when you see eight-second violations, it's because team, a team has a, a player double-teamed in the backcourt trying to get a steal, and that's why. But you hardly ever see an eight-second violation where somebody just walks it up and just does it too slow. Yeah, very rarely. But you know what, Matt? It's funny because I was thinking, wow, they're trying to set it up here. They're taking their time. and Too much time. Too much time. That's a turnover. And you can take all the time you want once you get into the front court. Yeah, well, the, you, yeah, 24, up to 24 seconds. But well done, Matt Fowler. That was really well said there. And again, Nick Mattis, Matt Fowler here calling the ball game. Two minutes, 15 seconds remaining. French Pro-Am in the white with the lead, 65 to 59. Finish select's gonna take the ball in here, side out. Trailing by six points here. Clock counting, just under two minutes left in the ball game. Good ball movement here by the finish select team. Everybody getting a look, there's a pump fake, one more pass. Shot clock running down. Gotta go. Too many passes, there's a steal. They reset the shot clock. I think it might be a violation. Let's see what happens here. I do believe possession did change. Now they say it, it did not change, so they're gonna put three seconds on the shot clock for the Interesting. finish select team. I would have, there are gonna be three seconds left, and again, just a, on cue, a perfect timeout called by the finish select coach, Miko Larkas. He knows his team only has three seconds. Let's dial up something, try to get a good shot here. This is a critical point in the game. Trailing by six points with the basketball. They're down uh, with one minute, 41, 49 seconds left. They need a basket here. It's really critical. At least let's get on the same page, so. Well, and it was very fortunate of the Finnish select team to be the recipient of uh, basically just a lack of thinking by French Pro-Am in the eight second violation. And now that they only have three seconds, you're probably gonna see a three pointer, I would think, because the odds they're down by six with, with uh, under two minutes remaining, I would think they would try a three here. But in any event, you, you, you can't have any sort of lag time when you get the ball in. You got three seconds, you gotta go. Yeah. Yeah, I, Matt, you, the logical idea would be to take a three because it's easier to get it in bounds, hard to force the ball into the paint right here. But I wonder with the seven-footer, 
in the ball game here. Connor Voss, let's see if he does go into the game. I'm not sure. No, he's not going to go into the game. He's going to stay on the bench here. And they have now reset the shot clock to 23. Maybe it's an error. Interesting. Maybe it's not. We'll see. 23 seconds there. They did change possession. I thought the possession had changed. And that makes sense because one second would have gone off. They need a basket, though, down here, I believe. We both agree with that. There's a jump shot, left-handed, off the rim, hustling and getting the basketball was Josie. Excellent hustle right there by Kevin Josie. Three finished select players there, but he was the quickest to the ball. Really big possession here for the French Pro-Am, leading by six. One minute and 25 seconds. Jump shot pulls up short. Got a foul called underneath. Looks like we're going to stay right here. Loose ball foul is going to be on the finish select team. It's first in the last two minutes. The next one will be free throws. French Pro-Am will get the ball side out. Leading 65 to 59. 65 to, six, 65 to 59 with the basketball. One minute, 19 seconds remaining in period number four. Game number one here, Global Basketball Summer League, Session B. We're gonna change the shot clock now, move it down to 14 seconds on the shot clock. No, they're on the foul call. They should get full 24 on the foul call, yes. It was a foul, so they're gonna get 24 seconds here, and they'll probably need to use most of that. If you're right, they need to milk that shot clock here, get it down into the two or three seconds left before you take the shot. Make the clock your ally. You've got a six point lead here. Another foul call. And that will be free throws. And this is where free throws can win you the game. As you had mentioned earlier, Matt, right on cue. And you know what, might not have been a bad foul, Matt. I'll tell you, they're trailing by six. The finish select team needs to make the clock their ally by extending the game. So by making the foul, they've, they've stopped the clock. They're gonna force free throws to be made. First up, free throws up, nothing but net. It, you, it's a risky, it's a risky uh, strategy, but sometimes you have to take it. French Pro-Am up by seven. One minute, 10 seconds remaining. Second free throw, nothing but net. Well done there by Archer. Two free throws dropped in, extends the lead to eight. Here comes the finish select. They gotta get shots up quickly. Trailing by eight. Coming up to the one minute mark. Driving to the hoop. Left handed shot off the glass. The bank is open. Basket is good. 54 seconds. They're not gonna foul, I guess. Gonna try to play tough defense. Knocks it away. And they should not foul. Down by six. 42 seconds remaining. Driving to the hoop. Fortune lays it up off the glass and in. Yeah. Beautiful body control right there by Fortune. Drove to the hoop. Used some great body motion right there. Really enjoyed that shot there by Fortune. He's been the outstanding offensive player in the game here for the French Pro-Am today. Six foot six, 215 pounder out of Colorado University. Just a superb athlete. Drove to the hoop right there, hung in the air was able to get the shot up off the glass. The bank was open, dropped through, extends the lead to eight with 34 seconds and counting here. Finish select needs to get some shots up in a hurry. Too much time being taken off and the ball is now stolen. Stolen back though, and a foul called. That might be the last thing you want to do here if you're the French Pro-Am is to stop the clock and extend the game there. Got to give a lot of effort to Greg Spencer to second. He was trying to get the steal, but it's going to put the player on the free throw line, stop the clock, and allow the finish select team to cut into the lead here, Matt. Judante Fry and free throws again. You have to make them. And I, I would say, I would go as far to say that free throws have decided this game now. Matt, that is a, an opinion with conviction. I love it, and you're precisely right. When we get the final stats in this game, I believe you're gonna see the finish select team. I don't think they shot 50%, Matt. I'll be surprised if they did. In the first half of the game, their free throw shooting was six for 11. And in the second half, their free throw shooting was worse. So they didn't even shoot 50% as a team. 
Second free throws up and in. 50% on this one, well, but won't help. That cut the lead to seven, but there's only 25 seconds remaining in the game. This is Nick Mattis enjoying bringing the game here with my partner, Matt Fowler. Stick around though, game two will be starting here shortly afterward. That's gonna be between the World Vision Sport and the Greek Connect. After that at two o'clock, the point streak's gonna take on Windsor Express. And the final game of the day will be between the Washington Warhawks and the Canada Stars. Boy, I like that name, Warhawks. Got to see that more in sports. Just a cool name, isn't it? Yeah, definitely a cool name. And uh, and here we have we have 25 seconds remaining. And uh, Matt, looking at the players in this game right now, looking at the players in this game right now, who do you like in this game here? I, I really think that the. Uh, Josh Fortune has really stepped up and showed that he's an offensive power here for the French Pro-Ams. Done a great job on, on the uh, finish select side. You know, they've had several players, but nobody's really distinguished himself offensively. Yeah, you know, I think that on the finish select side, I think if they would have just made their free throws. Well, I, I do want to take something back. One man did distinguish himself on those two hammer slams Absolutely, Devontae Upson came in and just got everybody here fired up. I think that might have been the highlight of the game for the Finnish select team. Devontae Upson's two hammer slams, the six foot eight, 215 pounder, who plays for the Helsink Helsinki Seagulls, came in here and just lit this place up. And, you know, that is gonna be an individual highlight on his highlight yeah. reel. Yeah. And. That's essentially what the Global Basketball Summer League is all about. Yeah, you're exactly right, Matt. That's, this is all individual players came here to try to showcase their talents and their skills, as well as the officials, as well as us in the media sta in the media table table here. We're going to take another timeout here with 22.9 seconds remaining in the ball game. French Pro-Am leading 70 to 62 over the Finnish Select team. Again, I'm Nick Mattis along with my partner here, my Sonoma County partner, Matt Fowler, coming to you live from Las Vegas, Nevada, the Doolittle Community Center. We just finished, we just completed the first tournament, which was session A yesterday. The Finnish select team, which was made up of new players now, not any of the players that played for the team yet in the uh, session A are on this team. It's a whole new group of players. Actually, Connor Voss did play in, oh. the, in the earlier session. Again, you're right. You're having a good day, Matt Fowler. Okay, you got me again. I'll get you after the game, though. Um, I'm not trying to get anybody. Just trying to just trying to get the get the get, facts get right. Get the facts right. Okay. And that's what you're doing, my man. You're doing a great job of it. Again, Nick Mattis, Matt Fowler having a lot of fun here in your Sonoma County connection and just kind of Matt Fowler and I just met here the other day on the first day of the tournament and just it's a small world, isn't it, Matt? Small world. All right, back into action. 22.9 seconds, finish select with a three-point shot. Just what the coach had written up. Ball's off the side iron, though. Rebound is uh, picked up here by... Greg Spencer, the second. He's fouled immediately. Going to go to the free throw line, the charity line. They're going to try to ice the game right here. They have an eight-point lead with 16.7 seconds left. Again, the charity stripe. And that's been the difference in the game, as Matt Fowler pointed out earlier. The free throw discrepancy has been a large discrepancy. First free throw, first free throw is up and in. Extending the lead to nine, 71 to 62. Makes both free throws. 10 point lead, clock is running. 15 seconds and under, three point attempt by Oris. Hurried it, out of bounds, air ball. French Pro-Am is going to win this ball game. Final score is gonna be 72 to 62.